Hey YouTube Club members, it's me, Monkey Jigging here, and uh, the topic of today's video is how do weapons work in multiplayer? Also second, how does armor work in multiplayer? And with that, let's go and begin. Okay guys, so the first thing you should know about is how do your guns work in multiplayer? And let me first off and say that your attack damage, which is up there, you know, the special blue thing, does not matter at all in multiplayer. You're your ammo type or whatever it is, you know, whether they're not using void damage and stuff. That kind of, that doesn't really factor in. That's more for campaign because, you know, it's effective against the enemies in there. But once again, your attack damage is not a factor. Don't worry if you're a low level guy and your guns do 50 damage and, you know, those higher level guys do 248. You know, we're not killing you in two bullets. That's not a thing. That That's non-existent uh but what is a factor in multiplayer is your rate of fire your impact range stability reload magazine size and then your little perks that are on your gun those your stats and your perks those are what matter and i'll break it down really quickly your rate of fire obviously what it is your rate of fire your impact is your damage that's uh that's how much damage that you're gonna do you know purple and everything range is obviously you know your damage drop off at this range you know your bullets just start doing less damage uh stability this is where things get a little bit wonky. What stability is, is when you're shooting, how much does your gun veer off? Because some guns, they kick up to the right. Some gang, uh, guns kick up straight up. You know, it's how much do they veer when you're shooting. And then you have your reload, which is obviously your reload speed. Magazine size, obviously your magazine size. And the reason why I say things get a little wonky here is if you want to reduce your stability, what you have to use is reduce your recoil. And that's the crazy thing. Um, the perk where you reduce your recoil is the one where once again, like I said before, it's how much does it veer over the long period of shooting. If you want to reduce how much does your gun visually and also your bullets kick around, you know, in that circular pattern whenever it does shoot, what you have to do is <laughs> increase your stability. And that's that's where I said things get wonky. You increase your stability to reduce your recoil, and you increase your recoil to increase your stability. That's where things get a little wonky. But um, yep, that's how your guns work in multiplayer. Let's gonna move on to the second thing, which is your armor. So the thing that you should know about your armor is your defense, no matter what level you are, does not matter. Everyone has the same shield, everyone has the same amount of health, but what does carry over is, once again, your perks and your little light score down here, which is basically, you know, how fast do things cool down. Um, but basically, your perks, you know, such as, you know, grenades getting you uh, more energy, you melee quicker, uh, something like reloading your weapons faster, sometimes you get to carry more ammo and that kind of stuff. Those things carry over multiplayer, but the, once again, don't worry, as a higher level guys, you don't have to worry about them having all the abilities and stuff, because lower level guys, they get buffs, they get buffs to the their damage and they get buffs to their shields uh, and their recharge rate and also their health this way just to make sure that those top level guys don't completely stomp on the new guys who don't have all the amazing perks to which they do have. But okay guys, we reached in this video. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Like the video if you liked it. Maybe share it with your friends if you think maybe they'll enjoy it. And uh, if you're new to my channel and want to see more of my videos, click that subscribe button. You get notifications in your sub box every single time I go live. And uh, just in case those sub boxes don't work as I usually do. Um, you can follow me on Twitter. I tweet out every single time I go live, and it's a good way to stay in contact with me, and I keep everyone there updated. And uh, with that, yeah, Mugjin. So I really got guys. Peace.